Hey there. I'm back. Yeah, I know. You didn't think you were going to see me again. I created this video today because I want to show you something that I was working on last week. You see, I did a, a workshop last week, a workshop slash webinar uh, with a partner of ours. So the partner was AWS and the, the workshop was called AWS Modernization with Datadog because that's where I work. And this uh, workshop, it required creating a, a website with all the instructions. In fact, you can see this website here at datadog.awsworkshop.io. And if you look through this site, you know, on the Datadog setup uh, section, for instance, you'll see, well, actually, let's go to monitor the application with synthetics. And you'll see some screenshots of the synthetics apps, synthetics app in Datadog. Uh, I think I've got some other, oh, here we go. Uh, network monitor um, and the cool network monitor. And one thing that's interesting about this is that the images are consistent. They're consistent. They're not a consistent ratio, uh, uh, um, aspect ratio, but they're a consistent size. And if you looked at the back end, the, the developer uh, tools, you would see that they are all um, optimized uh, PNG files. And they all have a maximum width of about a thousand pixels or less. So, you know, I, I, I know how to do that. I can, I can easily do that uh, on any image, but I don't want to have to keep doing it. And, you know, if I have to remember a separate task to do it, it's not going to get done. And I'm going to ship a, a website with, you know, 2,000 pixel wide images, even though no one's ever going to view it that wide. And so I wanted to come up with an automation that would do those steps for me automatically so I didn't have to think about it. Because if I have to think about it, I'm going to forget. So I thought I'd run through that tool uh, or that, uh, that automation so you can see how I did it. And I think it's pretty adaptable no matter what you're doing. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a pretty easy thing to do, assuming that you've got the right tools. And I think it's pretty easy to get the right tools. So what am I doing? I am, let's take a look at um, my development version of the site. Uh, I don't know if I'm running it right now. Let's go with Hugo server. Okay, cool. So now my Hugo server is running. And if I create a, let's go to, well, let's say, let's say we need to take a screenshot of this page. And I want to say, um, when you're on here, maybe turn off this row of uh, extensions. So take a screenshot. And what do I want to call this? I want to say this is uh, turn off extensions. Enter. Okay, so here's that screenshot. And I'm going to draw a arrow to point to the extensions area. And I'll draw a box around the extensions saying, this is the stuff you need to turn off. And um, yeah, let's do one more thing. Let's, uh, let's say that this stuff over here is secret. I'm just going to pixelate all that stuff. And that's good. So now if I press Command S, it's going to prompt me to, you know, turn off extensions.png in this directory. Yep, that's it. And so now I can just come to my editor, add a few spaces just to give it some space, and press Command V. And wow, that was magic. And if I go to my web page, Whoa, that's that image that I just created. Magic. What? What just happened there? Well, let's break it down a bit. I'm using a image capture tool called CleanShot. And with CleanShot, I can have it 
I mean, there's, you, you don't have to use CleanShot. You could totally use the built-in screenshot tools that are part of, um, part of the Mac. Just with CleanShot, you get that really cool editor uh, for the arrow and the boxes. So that's really nice. But you could do it without. Um, so every time it does a screenshot, it asks me for a name after every capture. Cool. And then it's storing the file in this directory, this AWS Workshop image input. And it's just a separate directory where I knew files were going to go to and then they disappear. Because I have Hazel. Hazel comes in, is monitoring that directory, and it has a rule called rename and resize. And that rule checks a bunch of things first to make sure that this image qualifies. And actually, I could probably get rid of all these rules because they're not really relevant to, to the real what, 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 to what happens. Because once a file is processed, it's removed from that directory. So I don't know why I have that in there. But once it finds a file, it's going to rename it to um, it's going to rename it to dd dash and then the name of the file and the extension. And then it's going to run a shell script. And after it runs that shell script, it's going to move the file into images in the static directory in the um, uh, website for Hugo, for, for, this, uh, for this website, for this documentation site. So what's the script? Let's click on edit script. And here I can see it says identify dash format and then a format. So identify, I believe, is a command that comes with image magic. Um, and it's just uh, pulling out, you know, for the image that was just that we're running the script for, um, grab the, uh, the width and the height and something else. And then pass that, pipe that to the awk command. And it's grabbing the first column and the second column and just make, make sure that either one of them is greater than a thousand. And if so, trim the uh, new line and uh, slash zero off the end um, or off either side actually. Uh, and then, pass that to Mogrify resize. And what Mogrify resize is doing is saying, well, we know that one of the dimensions is greater than a thousand. So shrink it down so that the largest uh, dimension in either direction is a thousand pixels. And then uh, ping quant is running uh, and it says, okay, try to optimize this. If the optimized version is larger than the original, then don't save it. But if it's smaller, then save it as the same name, the same file name. And then I come up with the file name. The file name is, uh, you know, the full dollar sign one um, will spit out the entire path. So if the path is slash user slash Matt Williams slash website directories or no slash uh, that images directory, uh, then it uh, base name is just going to say, get rid of the path stuff and just give me the file name. So that's file name. And then title, I want it to be file name colon three. That means drop the first three characters from file name and then drop the everything after the dot because I only want the title, not the extension. And then all those dashes that are in there, get rid of them and replace them with spaces. So essentially I'm, I'm uh, creating a title replacing the strings with dashes and then replacing the dashes with strings just for this. Uh, and then at the end, I want to echo a string that is uh, bang or exclamation point, open square bracket, dollar sign title. So the uh, environment variable title. Uh, so title is in within square brackets and then within uh, parentheses is slash images slash and then whatever is in the environment variable file name. And then it pipes the out that echo, that, that string, it pipes that to PB copy or pasteboard copy, which is a Mac command that will just, uh, you can have it in any shell script and it'll copy the results into the, into the um, clipboard. And so that's how it, it injects that command or that string into the clipboard. And that's how I was able to go to the editor and just press command V and it just worked like magic. Um, so let's try that again. In fact, I'll do a screenshot of Hazel. 
There we go. I wanted to grab this. Hazel does its magic. And let's say I want to draw a box around just this area, because that's what's doing the magic. I'll save it. It's saving it to that directory, that magic directory. Hazel does its magic. Press enter. And now I can come over here. Maybe I'll add it to the top. And that did not do what I wanted, because maybe I just didn't wait enough, long enough. There it is. I guess I needed to wait, give it some uh, a, a second or two to run. Hazel does its magic. And now if I go into the website at the top, there's the Hazel does its magic image. Already, it's already been optimized. It's already been shrunk down. Let's just verify that. I'll right click and choose inspect element. I'm in Safari, by the way. And over here, I can hover over here and I can see that the natural dimensions of this is 1000 by 639. So the original image was, I don't know, probably 1400 uh, uh, pixels wide or so, and it uh, resized it down to 1000. I think that's pretty cool. It did that automatically for me and I didn't have to do anything. And I just look like, I look like a genius because all my images, in fact, let's go take a look at the folder um, let's open up my finder and go to under projects, Datadog, AWS, not AWS Workshop, that's the old version. Um, it has modernization with Datadog, static images. There are a bunch of images that were created by other people. But then all the data log ones, I will have this DD extension and it just looks, I think it just looks awesome. Um, they're all small, whereas the other images that were created by other people are bigger. Uh, some of them are smaller, but generally they're bigger and all of my images are nice and small and I get to feel good about optimizing all my images. So that's it. That's my uh, latest uh, video. I thought it was pretty cool. I wanted to share it with you. And um, if you find videos like this interesting, consider subscribing to this channel. You know, the, if you subscribe to the last video that I did, like last real video I did, you would be waiting till, well, until this one, which is like a year later. But if you subscribe now, you'll probably get a notification, well, assuming you hit that bell icon as well, you'll get a notification, I don't know, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, maybe today, I don't know. Because uh, I plan on using my time alone to its fullest and create videos so that I have them ready to go out at a regular interval over time. And then we move, oh, we move and I am going to have that space. I'm so excited. Well, thank you. Thank you for coming here. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being you. That sounds cheesy. Anyway. Thanks a lot. See you next time.